Harper created Nighthawks in 1942. In the same year, the Art Institute of Chicago acquired the painting from the Consigned Gallery. Nowadays, it's still on display in the Art Institute of Chicago. In Nighthawks, we can see a diner at night, at the corner of desolate streets. Through the large windows, we can peek at the waiter and his three guests. To many, Nighthawks evokes a sense of loneliness. But Hopper himself disagreed with this interpretation. In an interview, he said, Well, I think those are the words of critics. It may be true and it may not be true. It's how the viewer looks on the pictures, what he sees in them. It has been described as Hopper's best known work and as one of the most recognizable paintings in American art. Within months of its completion, it was sold to the Art Institute of Chicago on May 13, 1942, for $3,000. Edward Hopper was an American realist painter and printmaker. While he is widely known for his oil paintings, he was equally proficient as a watercolorist and printmaker in etching. Both in his urban and rural scenes, his spare and finely calculated renderings reflected his personal vision of modern American life. Hopper considered himself an impressionist. Hopper's paintings to feature figures with ambivalent facial expressions that really punctuate their detachment. Then there's a man sitting alone emphasizing solitude. We see this one lonely night inside a cafe from a sheer glass window. In Edward Hopper's work, windows entail the barrier built between a person and the outside world. can't rely on you, Arthur. Not for anything. That's right. Blame it all on me. Since Hopper was almost like a film designer, it became relatively easy to uh, recreate uh, Nighthawk. 